For today's drill, we're all going to take it in turns to blast down the fiery targets with one of Titan's water cannons. Oh, goody! I love water cannons! Can I go first, Sam? Can I? Can I? <laughs> I think I should go first, Elvis. I'm already on Titan. Oh. Well, if you both want to go first, I think you'll need to settle it like sailors have done for centuries. How's that? Scissors, paper, stone. Oh, goody! I always win that scissors, paper, stone. <laughs> Come on, then, Elvis. Sorry, Elvis. Stone beats scissors. Looks like we're going first, then, Penny. <laughs> oh! I bet I find a better fossil than you, Norman. Uh, Norman? Norman? Uh, I know that's you! You can't fool me with your silly tricks. Uh, Norman? Are you there? Sam, take us back. Roger that, Penny. Not bad, guys, but not quite the record. You ready to show them how it's done, Elvis? <laughs> yes! I can't wait to fire the water cannon. Right, I'll steer. You do the shooting. Hooray! Hang on, Elvis. We need to put the targets back up first. Everything in place, Sam? Yes, sir. All the summer safety equipment has been installed. Well done. You! Oh. A fire is spreading through the forest where Malcolm, Norman and the Floods are out hiking. A fire is spreading through the forest where Malcolm, Norman and the Floods are out hiking. Ellie, Elvis, you come with me in Jupiter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Tom, we'll need air support from Wallaby 2. I'll get it back together as fast as I can, Sam. He's spreading fast, Sam. Even with Wallaby 2's help, we'll still need more backup. Right, you two get started fighting the fire. Penny, Arnold, we've got a serious wildfire on our hands. We'll need Venus. We're already on our way, Sam. Should be with you any second. We need to hit this fire from both the north and south sides of the forest. You head north. Roger that, Sam. <coughs> Keep moving, everyone. <coughs> I've got no signal. I can't work out where we are. Mm, neither can I. And my battery is dead. So, isn't it lucky that I brought a map? Ah! Oh! <gasps> oh! Mike! Oh! You've twisted your ankle badly. Uh-oh. I'll need to make a splint. Oh. oh! The fire is everywhere. What are we going to do? Look! Animals can usually sense a way out of danger. We should follow them. Up you get, Mike Flood. Here, Dad. Use this as a crutch. No, oh, thanks, love. Oh, oh. Come on, everyone. Let's follow the animals. I'm not sure this is working, Sam. Tom, is Wallaby 2 ready yet? Uh, yeah, we're almost fixed, Sam. Uh, I'll be in the air in a couple of minutes. Which way, little brother? I I'm not sure. But how will we get out? It'll be OK. Put these wet handkerchiefs over your nose and mouth. It'll help keep out the smoke. And we're going to stay low to the ground where the air is most breathable. Ta-da! Everyone pass.
passing by will see the great Normansky billboard. Beat that, Jim Major. Whoa, Dad, that's well impressive. Oh, just a little something I knocked together. May the best billboard win, Norman! Norman, where are you going now? To stop that billboard! Is set fire to a fuel truck on Ponty Pandy Key. Please clear the area immediately. Malcolm, I need your help to operate Titan's second water cannon. But I'm not a trained firefighter, Sam. I know, but we need to move fast. The safety of Ponty Pandy is at stake. Let's do it. Ben, take us out to a safe distance. Okay, Malcolm, hold it steady, aim, and fire. Oh, oh. Got it! Penny, we can't reach the fire on the opposite side of the truck, so we'll try and keep the fuel tank cool until you arrive. We're almost there, Sam. We'll need to tackle this fire with foam, Elvis. Roger that, Penny. Now let's get those smaller fires out too. Fires are all out, Sam. And the fuel truck has cooled off. There's no danger of it exploding now. All know your motivation. Body cams on. Let's make Ocean Rescue movie history. I think directing this Ocean Rescue video has really gone to Station Officer Steele's head. Come on, Ellie. Ready for our close-up? And... Action. Remember, Sam, you're supposed to be lost at sea and need rescuing. Help! Help! I'm lost at sea and need rescuing. Now, Cridlington! I'm the king of the world! <laughs> uh, cut! Cut! Cridlington! All I can see is your nostril. And, and stop dangling there like a sack of potatoes. Oh, this is the worst ocean rescue video ever. Get him in the harness, Cridlington! And point your body cam at him while you're doing it. Uh, oh, it's a bit tricky doing both, sir. Well, that's an interesting way of doing it. Give me distress, Sam. Um, help! I'm lost at sea and need rescuing. And Quillington, please try and look a bit more like an action hero, would you? I know it's a stretch. Oh, what if I make my muscles look big and do a flex dexter smile? <laughs> oh! I'm not sure it's working. Just get Sam into the harness, Elvis. Um, okay, Ellie. 
Uh, Tom, I think we're ready. Bring us up. Here we go. The big one. The action shot. The grand... Whoa! Uh, cut! Whoa! Joe and Hannah are heading out to sea in a jet-powered hot air balloon. Joe and Hannah are heading out to sea in a jet-powered hot air balloon. Sergeant Trevani, can you see where they went? No, sir. They were flying too fast. I'll head out to sea and search the area. Ready to back you up in Wallaby 2. Sergeant Trevani, you search to the south, and Tom, you search north. Roger that, Station Officer Steele. Transmitting coordinates now. I'm going down. Grab hold of this! Ben, get Titan to Bontipandi Island fast, or we'll have a massive fire on our hands. On my way! But I've got no one to operate the water cannons! Leave it to me. I've got just the firefighter for the job. Was close. I'm really sorry, Penny. I pushed the Joe Jet's controls right up to the marks. This is all my fault. Well, Hannah, I think it's best if you don't tinker with grown-ups' inventions, especially if it's one of your dad's. Aye. So, it looks like your police helicopter will be a perfect fit with the rest of the team. It certainly feels like that, Sam. You're going to have a great view. I bet it's not as good as the new town. Woo! Well, I suppose that was quite good. Oh, wow! Titan is going too. This is amazing! The police helicopter! Huh? Oh, I said. 
that sorry? Oh, I see. You're protecting your nest. Don't worry. I'll stay up this end. Oh, but I still need to let the rescue team know where I am. Somehow. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, everyone spread out. We need to widen the search area. No sign of them yet, Penny. Nothing from up here. Oh, it's such a big area. Hey! I'm here! Over here! Over here! Hang on! I see something. What is it, Sergeant Trevani? I found him. It's James. But I can't land to rescue him. It's nesting season, and I don't want to upset the birds. Sam, can you go? Neptune won't be able to get in there. Roger that, Penny. Juno is made for this. Uncle Sam! I'm over here! James! Careful, Uncle Sam. There's a very grumpy bird here. Don't worry, James. We'll get you out of here in no time. Then she can have the island all to herself. Hold on, James. The ghost of Ponty Pandy Pete has scared a horse, and now it's pulling a cart at high speed with passengers on board. Oh, that's a new one. Let's get you buckled into your new seat, Radar. No sirens today, Elvis. We don't want to scare the horse even more. Sam, Lizzie, we're going to need backup. Roger that, Elvis. I'll be with you as soon as I can. I'm on my way. Slow down, Prince! Slow down! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's horse for stop! going to rescue them without scaring the horse even more. I don't know, Elvis. <laughs> what is it, Radar? I think he wants to get out. Radar! I hope he's not going to scare the horse. Don't worry, Penny. Radar's known Prince since they were both little. Radar won't scare him. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing what fire station dogs used to do in the old days. Looking after the horses. He's matching his pace and slowing him down. <laughs> oh. Are you two okay? Yes, thanks, Penny. Yes! Radar saved the day! I'm sorry, Lizzie. I didn't mean to scare the horse. That's okay, Norman. I know you didn't. And luckily, everyone's okay. But you have to be careful around horses. They're big and strong, but they can get scared very easily. So, no more haunted hay rides. Oh, but can I have a normal hayride instead, please? <sighs> Go on then, Norman. Yes! Oh! Oof. <laughs> I don't think that horse likes me anymore. Oh, look! A sausage! Three, two... Attention, firefighters! Oh! What happened to one? Derek Price has been scared by dinosaurs, carried away by a pterodactyl, and is now trapped on the cliffs of Dinosaur Island. I, I mean, Ponty Pandy Island. Come on, team, to Ponty Pandy Island! 
You head for the base of the cliff, Ben, and we'll head for the top. Roger that, Sam! Stay still, Derek. We're on our way down now. We'll soon get you to safety. Ready, Derek? Next stop, Titan. Oh, one more step, Derek. Careful. You're safe now. Well done, team! I'll meet you back at the beach. Roger that, Sam. I really wish I could have had a go at the target practice. Look, I know you don't believe me, but I was chased by a dinosaur. That's rubbish, Derek, and you know it. Well, you could ask Norman, but I think the dinosaur actually got him. Have been a real dinosaur. <laughs> what? Oh, you little. <sighs> you see, Norman, all sorts of things can happen when you try to scare people, and some of them can be really dangerous. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry for scaring you, Derek. Well, that's enough of dinosaurs for one day. Pterodactyl! Ah! Oh, I'll get it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops, sorry, Norman. Come on, Norman. Hmm, this looks like it could be fun for a bit of target practice. Good idea, Penny. Can I go first, Sam? Can I? Can I? I never got to go. Please. <laughs> of course you can, Elvis. So, uh, who goes second then? Uh, scissors, paper, stone, Penny? Scissors, paper, stone, Sam. Roger that! <laughs> I know where that is, but it'll take time to get there. Just in time, Tom. I'm sending you the location of the trapped hikers. Keep the fire away from them. Got you, Sam. I'm on my way. Penny? Change of plan. I need Venus back at the picnic site ASAP. Roger that, Sam. On our way. Hello down there. Don't worry. Sam is on his way. Everything's going to be fine, kids. Arnold, I need you to help Elvis and Ellie fight the fire from here. Penny, we're going to create a wet corridor through the forest and get everyone to safety. Roger that, Sam. Oh, <coughs> the smoke's getting thicker. <coughs> Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Let's get Mike and Venus, then we'll all follow her out, keeping low. for making fun of your map, Dad. You're the one who saved the day. Thanks, love. But I think we all did it together. Oh, and the animals got out safely, too. Oh, I think this is what probably caused the fire, Sam. Oh, oopsie. That might have been mine. Norman, it's not just campfires and barbecues you have to be wary of during hot, dry weather. A magnifying glass can be a fire risk, too. Oh, I'm sorry. This massive, big, red, flappy thing came at me. You mean the ladybird, Norman? Wait. Ah! It's on my nose! Don't freak out, Norman. Remember what happened last time. 
Ah, oh, not freaking, not freaking. Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off! <laughs> Sarah Jones is trapped in Nurse Flood's car and it's heading straight for the beach. Sarah Jones is trapped in Nurse Flood's car and it's heading straight for the beach. but the tide is coming in and you need to make yourself safe until we get there. Listen carefully, I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Uh, uh, roger that, Uncle Sam. Okay, Sarah. Once you have taken off your seatbelt, roll down the window and get out of the car. Remember, seatbelt, window, out. I've got it, Uncle Sam. Seatbelt, window, out. Seatbelt, window, out. That's it, Sarah. Don't worry, Sarah. I've got you. You go, Elvis! Well, I'm glad everyone is safe and sound, Sam. But our drills didn't exactly go as planned. And I didn't get any good footage for my ocean rescue epic. I think you might actually have the best ocean rescue epic ever, sir. Everyone's body cams were still on when we rescued Sarah. Mountain hero. Oh. And it says you're supposed to wear this hat. Miss. Oh, you've gone. Ah! Slow it down! Ah! Now I'm going round and round and look! And now I've got to fly up my nose! You need to hold the handles to stop it spinning, Norman! I can't hold! Ah! Norman! Are you okay? Well, I am dangling from a very high branch and I've got a fly up my nose. So call fire and fire! Uh, oh. uh. Oh. Oh, dear. I think you'd better get Station Officer Steele his cup of tea, Elvis. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, just getting your tea, sir. <laughs> oh, yes. Norman Price has fallen off the zip line of doom and is stuck in a tree. And he's got a fly up his nose. Penny, you take Venus. Helen, you follow behind in the mountain rescue ambulance. I'll go with Tom and Wallaby too. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Fallen into the river. Get me in as close as you can. Roger that, Sam. That's close enough, Tom. I'm going in. <laughs> Sam! Penny, Sam and Norman are in the river. Roger that, Tom. I'll try and intercept them downstream. Stay calm, Norman. 
You're going to be okay. Don't worry, Sam. I've got your back. Fireman Sam might need some backup. Well, off you go, little brother. going on now? Come on, you three. It'll be safer over here. Let's get to work. Roger that, Sam. Is everyone okay? I'm okay. Yes. Yes, we're okay. You shut off the gas, and I'll put out the oil fires. Roger that, Sam. <laughs> gas off, Sam! Thanks, Ellie. Good work. Well, Bronwyn, the fire is out. You won't be serving fish and chips in there anytime soon, but I did manage to rescue these. I'm sorry, Sam. I know I should have been watching the pans instead of looking in the cupboard, but I got in too much of a rush. Rushing is often dangerous, Bronwyn, and you need to remember that safety always comes first. I know, Sam. At least everyone is okay. We are. Oh, thank you, Uncle Sam. Red hot chili nibble? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I didn't get to try one earlier. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> Water, Sam? Oh, thank you, Malcolm. Ah, oh, we are a good team. <laughs> that we are, Sam. That we are. Good work, Ben. Right back at you, Penny. Well, let's hope we have a quieter day from now on. Hello? What's this? Finished! I win! But your pegs aren't even in properly! Station Officer Steele, there's a fire on the island. A fire? Quiddington, keep the cadets safe. We'll need to get to the boats. We can't, sir. The fire's blocking our way. Then that means we can't get off the island. I'm afraid not, Elvis. And our phones have no signal. Follow me. There's only one way we can go. And let's hope someone in Ponty Pandy has seen the fire. That doesn't look right. Too much smoke for a campfire. Better call Firefighter Penny! There is a fire on Ponty Pandy Island. There is a fire on Ponty Pandy Island! Tom, we're going to need Wallaby too. The fire is all around us, Sam. If only I had my firefighting equipment. Need some help, Sam? Ah, thanks, Penny. Now, let's get to work. Looks like the fire started near the campfire circle. Uh-oh. Hmm. Um, 
I may have. The Flintstones might have created a spark. You must always be careful when starting a campfire, kids. Even a single spark can be very dangerous, especially near dry bushes. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I may have been responsible for leaving the Flintstones unattended. I do apologise. Fighting fires is easier than looking after these children, Sam. Oh, you're right there. Especially when James and Sarah are arguing. Oh, I don't argue. You do. No, I don't. James, you're the biggest arguer ever. You're a bigger arguer than me. Bigger times <laughs> infinity. <laughs> James, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Smooth sailing. Bye, Dad. Bye. Cheerio. There is a fire at Ponty Pandy River. Spreading across the grass and towards the trees. The pioneers are at the river. We need to get there fast. Let's cut along the forest trail. Roger that, Sam. and keep back. The fire is spreading in both directions. Arnold, Ellie, put out the grass fire. Elvis, Penny and I will put out the tree fire. Let's go. Ready? Ready. It's not going out, Sam. Penny, take Venus to put the fire out from the other side. Roger that, Sam. The tree fire is out. And the grass fire is out. Hooray! OK, Malcolm, what's going on? Well, thanks to the kids' computer images, we know we need to search east of Ponty Pandy Mountain. And we need to hurry. It'll be dark soon. Roger that. Arnold, you launch Saturn and BRI in the sky. The rest of us will spread out and search the area. Roger that, Sam. Lizzie, you ride with me. OK, Penny. Now let's go find Tom. At the river. No sign of Tom here. What about you, Penny? We're at the ridge. Nothing yet. Malcolm, any luck? Negative. Nothing here. But I'll keep looking. <laughs> hey, buddy. We've got a nice fire to keep us warm, so you just hang in there. Sam has never let me down yet. Hang on. What's that? Sam, Saturn's found something, and it's close to your position. I'll talk you in. Roger that, Arnold. I know that sound. It's Saturn! Hey, over here! Sam! Oh, am I happy to see you, mate! Good to see you too, Tom. How is the patient? Oh, he's fine, but he'll be much better when Lizzie gets here. Ah, and here she is. 
Hello, little fellow. Well, looks like you could use some help. How did you know where we were? Ah, well, it's all because of a space sandwich. A, a what? What? Which? Oh, brilliant! Cool! Wow, that is so beautiful. Glad we were able to find your balloon, James. But the sandwich is looking a bit worse for wear. Have you been eating it, Uncle Sam? Don't think it was, Fireman Sam, Sarah. <laughs> Look at this. Emergency buoyancy systems activated. There we go, Anna. Shall we wait up top? Hang on. Look, the turtle. And it's got a piece of plastic stuck to it. Dad, we've got to help it. Ben, what are your coordinates? I'm just east of Ponty Panty Island. But no sign of them here, Sam. Penny, anything to the north? Negative, Ben. Nothing so far. Are you sure you don't want me to do it, Hannah? No, Dad. You know I'm a much better swimmer than you. And I'm not going to miss meeting this turtle. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. Come here. Oh, you're so beautiful. Now, let's get this off you. There! <laughs> you're welcome, buddy. One turtle rescued! <laughs> now, we just need to rescue ourselves. This might do it! <laughs> There's a flare, a few degrees south of Ponty Panty Island. We're on our way, Tom. Oh, they're here! I've found them, Sam. Just follow my bearing. You two okay? <laughs> Fantastic! Thanks, Fireman Sam. I just met the turtle. And she took some plastic off of it. Great job, Hannah. That's what the Ocean Clean Team is all about. Now let's get you both on board, Neptune. Then Titan can tow the Submaster back to Ponty Pandy. Well, I'm going to relax in the freshly caught great white plastic chair. It <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> It got away again, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big one. I don't just want a bit of wind. I want you to really whip up a storm. Gotcha. Big wind coming up. Ooh, it's getting a bit choppy. More wind, Moose. Roll camera and action. I've been to Vegas. Oh, what the crazy! What? Ooh. Moose, now turn the wind machine back on! Oh, that was close. We're not out of danger yet. We gotta get away from that waterfall. I'm on full power! Medical fire the sun! Just leave it, Cridlington. 
members of the Punti Pandi ukulele band are heading towards a waterfall in a rowing boat powered by a wind machine. Two members of the Ponty Pandy ukulele band are heading towards a waterfall in a rowing boat powered by a wind machine. Elvis, you come with me in Hydrus. Penny, you take Mercury. Roger, Roger that, up, Sam. Sam. As hard as I can. Sam, I'll tie off the safety line for Hydrus. Rock it up, Penny. Go, Sam. I'll hold her steady. Elvis, you get Trevor on board. Roger that, Sam. Ooh. 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 You need to jump across, Moose. Already. Grab this, Moose. Uh, oh, got it! Uh, don't worry, Moose. You're safe now. It was a good job you were wearing a life jacket. <sighs> I'm sorry, Uncle Sam. I think I got a bit too carried away making my video. All of you need to be very careful when you're around water. Currents can be very strong. And, apparently, so can wind machines. Sorry, Sorry Fireman Sam. Sam. Sorry. Well, at least you're all safe. Right then, Malcolm. Come and meet the team. Ah, Malcolm, this is Helen Flood, Ponty Pandy's nurse. Oh. Hello, you big lemon. You're the big lemon round here, huh? Uh, um... But don't worry, Sam. This big lemon here is my big sister. Ah, I see. I didn't know you were coming to Ponty Pandy. Well, I got a bit fed up with the big city. Fancied a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, no! Nippa! <laughs> uh, is that a dog driving a car? Time to go to work. Welcome to Ponty Pandy, little brother. <laughs> I'll get the dog if you know how to stop that thing. Roger that, Malcolm. Oh. Oh. oh, dear. Thank you. I hope that dog has a driving license. <laughs> nice rescue, Malcolm. Right back at you, Sam. I wonder where Mandy's got to. Mandy? Mandy Flood! Uh, she said she wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain, Mrs. Chen. <gasps> Maybe she's gone up there. Oh, dear. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll head back to Ponty Pandy to pick him up. <laughs> Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> Got a missing child on Ponty Pandy Mountain Top. Roger that. I'm on my way. Lower the double harness, Tom. See you at the bottom, Sam. There you go, Mandy. Safe and sound. But I don't think you should go mountain climbing on your own again. The mountains are a very dangerous place. I'm sorry, Sam. I 
I just really wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain. Well, I think you need a bit more practice first. I know, Sam. But don't you worry, Mandy. You'll make it one day. And I'll give you lessons any time you want. No problem. Thanks, Moose. Oh, I'm glad everyone's okay. <sighs> I bet Moose saved the day and did something really brave. No, Elvis. I couldn't save Mandy. I was just the helper. Fireman Sam was the real hero. Oh, well, I, I don't know about that, Mandy. <laughs> Ooh, great! I've got my first rescue for my book. <laughs> Chapter one. Tom, this is Sam. I'm going to need some backup. Mike, Sam will be here soon. I can't hold on much longer, Elvis. <laughs> Sam! Sam! I'm sorry, kids, but it's getting late. I think we ought to go home. Oh, please, Mum. Can't we wait just a little longer? Well, we've run out of time. I'll have to send everyone home. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry, but Elvis is not here tonight. So, I'm afraid... I'm afraid there will be a change in tonight's programme. I will sing for you. You? Yes, me. After all, firefighters must always be prepared to step up when the public needs them. Are you ready? Of course. Marjorie and I are always ready. Clap your hands and tap your toes. Pick up your helmet and your fire hose. Gonna have a great big celebration. Everybody's dancing at the fire station. Well, Mike, you're safe and sound. In the future, you two need to be a lot more careful. I'm glad you're safe, Mike. But I'm a bit sad that I missed the show. Even if I could make it now, my big entrance is ruined. Hmm. Tom? Yes, sir? How do you fancy a trip to a concert? We're dancing in the firehouse, yes, yes. We're dancing in the firehouse, yes, yes. Dancing, singing, the fire bell. If only Cridlington could see this. <laughs> Look, it's Elvis. Oh, he's like a superhero. This is the best concert ever. <laughs> Oh, if you're hanging from a cliff and you need a helping hand, just call the fire station because Sam's the man. Sam's the man. Woo! Sam's the man. <laughs> Sam's the man. Sam's the man. Yeah. We've come to the rescue no matter where you are, even if you're clinging to a giant guitar. Sam, 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 Sam Sam's the, the man. man. <laughs> Penny. Can you explain about the drill again? No time for that now, Elvis. Mandy's in trouble. Let's hit the water. But it's... Oh, dear. Come on, Elvis. We've got to go. <laughs> OK, Mandy. Stay calm. What would an around-the-world yachtswoman do? Driftwood! Work. Um, Penny, uh, you know those bolts? Uh, not now, Elvis. What happened? That's what I was trying to tell you. I made the bolts fall out. I'm so sorry, Penny. It's all my fault. 
That's okay, Elvis. It's my fault too. I should have listened to you. Looks like Penny and Elvis might be in trouble. Tom, we're going to need the helicopter. Well done, Elvis. But what are we going to do now? Without those bolts, we'll never be able to fix the motor. What, Sam? Looking for these? Oh, thank you, Sam. I'm sorry I got it all wrong. I tried to take your advice and stay calm, but the bolts came out. Whoa, and... whoa, whoa. Slow down, Elvis. Right now, Mandy's lost at sea and she needs our help. You're right, Sam. I really need to stay cool and calm now. All fixed. Now let's save Mandy. Well done, Elvis. A nice bit of fixing. Ahoy, Sam! It's Mandy. And her mast is made out of driftwood. That's brilliant. Clever girl. Need any help? Thank you, Mandy, but Sam already... I think we should let Mandy save the day, eh, Penny? Oh, I mean, yes, Mandy, that would be wonderful. Lead us home, Captain Mandy. There she is! Sign, Elvis! Not yet, Sam. Uh, wait, what's that? That could be them, but there's three of them. Sam, I think I got them. There's a cave in the woods 100 metres east from where you are. Right you are, Elvis. James, Sarah. We're in here, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. I'll have you out in no time. Oh, oh, thanks, Uncle Sam. <laughs> thanks, Sam. How did you find us? Ooh, is it a UFO? No. It's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Penny, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. Whoa! Are you OK, Uncle Sam? I'm fine! You look just like a polar bear! <laughs> you might not be a real polar bear, Uncle Sam, but you won the competition for us! You always save the day, even when you fall in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is going to work, sir. Hmm, you may be right. If we can't pull her out, then there's only one thing for it. We'll have to cut the platform off. Ooh. Ooh. Which way did she go? Across the field. That way. I did try to hang on to her, Sam. Don't worry, Norman. I'm here now. Stay calm, Sarah. I'll get a ladder. I heard shouting. What's up? I am! Help! Forget the ladder. I've got a better idea. Anything I can do, Sarah. Uh, grab the other end of this, Moose. And hold tight. Okay, Sarah. 
Now lower yourself so you are just holding on by your hands. Now, when you drop, try and keep your back towards the floor. You can let go now. Now that looks like fun! No, sir. Please! Stand aside, Cridlington. Stop! What on earth are you doing to my lovely engine? Oh, uh, Jupiter's stuck, and Chief Fire Officer Boyce wants to chop the platform off. What? There's no need for that. I suppose you have a better idea. I do, actually. Why not let the air out of the tyres, lower the vehicle, and roll her out? You may have something there, Steel. What's happening here, sir? This is all my fault, Sam. I didn't secure the lock on the platform properly. Very fiddly manoeuvre. And maybe I should get myself a pair of spectacles. <laughs> but Station Officer Steele was a real hero. He came up with a totally brilliant plan, didn't you, sir? Well, <laughs> I'm not too old to still have a few 